Why did they stop building pyramids? Is that good? Hey, it's what I do when I'm chipping, don't know what's going on, not cause I'm full of a tip, and don't know what's going on, cause I be lit. What's good, dog? Why do you they think they stopped doing, doing that? that? Hmm. When it comes to the Egyptians, I think of it like this. I don't actually know any of the knowledge. And as time goes on, probably because a lot of things. It's actually a, a multivariate equation as to what possibly could have happened. No idea. I, I've no, I've never seen I've never seen an Egypt bit. At the time they had slaves. Okay, it's fucked up. I know. Hard times make good men. Good men make good times. Good times make weak men. Weak men make hard times, and then the cycle repeats. Yo, 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 bro, 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 bro. Homie, I just tried to find you, bro. Yo, I need your YouTube so I can watch the video, bro. And this is the hottest part of the day. Reason number one. They changed the capital. You may think of Giza as the place, as it was for plenty of rains. But later they moved it all the way down to Luxor. Or back then, it's known as Thebes. Speak to me. What man did you in the custody? Okay, he's still alive. Pyramids not only needed flat land, and Thebes being lumpy, not a great place to build one, they also needed a lot of resources that later kings didn't have because earlier ones already dug them out of the ground. Reason number two, security. It was really cool when they built the pyramids in the first few hundred years, but after that, they started robbing them. And enough pharaohs saw these robbed pyramids and thought, that's probably not a good idea. If I'm going to hoard all my wealth, it should probably not be in the largest man-made structure in human history. But dude, think about the bank that those grave robbers were getting when they walked out of there. Like, some of those guys walked out with some Hey kids, those pyramids, they didn't do anything. <laughs> I, I, they're yeah. just dumb. When they were doing it, they were having slaves do it. And all the slaves, all the slaves uh, kind of, like, rebelled against them. They left. They didn't have any workers. And finally, the last reason, it just wasn't cool anymore. The poor people started doing it. Dentists, doctors, hairdressers started building their own little pyramids. And then it, well, it wasn't cool to have a big pyramid. So, that's how it all ended. We're well, not really seeing the whole picture. There were failed pyramids. Ones that collapsed in on themselves when they really didn't know what they were doing. We kind of see these giant few big pyramids and think that's the whole picture, but really that was merely their beginning and kind of their glory days. But that's what ancient Egypt is. It's a bunch of later generations continuously building on the old generations and trying to not get robbed, but eventually they all do. And sure, there were slaves, but- Hold up, hold up, I got my phone, hold up. Cause you actually got me really interested, bro. You also gotta think about like, how much do we advance throughout time? How much changes throughout time? The people that we are introduced to, the things that we learn, the things that we see, different, our perspective is constantly changing. So from that standpoint or viewpoint, or I don't know how to say, I guess that I'm drunk right now.